All right, we'll have a, one more and we'll have a little break. And uh, well, next up, um, well, Paul Ebenita Scrooge is going to be ruining Christmas for this next person. Uh, but be warned, Paul, because before the night is through, you're going to be visited by not one, not two, but three Barnsley fans. Uh, so <laughs> this is Peter Hampshire with what he wants for Christmas. Hello, everyone on the Kayla United podcast. And thank you, Matthew, for inviting me back on. I thought you might have had enough of my uh, stories about Gimje and my countryside life there, but clearly not. So I'm sending this over from England. And Gimje is the inspiration for my Kaylee Christmas idea. I think that Jollibug Do has space for another team. Not an under-21 team for Jollibug, but a proper provincial town team. So you've got places like Ixan, that's got a 25,000 seater stadium. You've got Gimje, which has also got surprisingly good facilities. Not that I'm a member of a tourist board or anything. Uh, Buan, there's all sorts. And they've also got a lot of youth team facilities for John Buck. So why not have a, a proper local club that could act as a feeder club for John Buck? Um, that'd be my idea. And it's been great to see the attendance has boost in K-League since I am... Um, Move back to England. But when you look at Jolly Book, though, there's definitely space for another side, I feel. That's a face we've not seen for a while. Peter Hampshire there coming in, uh, in from ITV Calendar, making space in his day to uh, to come back on the podcast and uh, nice. promote Gimje for us. But promoting Gimje a bit too much over the top, Paul. Uh, he wants a team there. Oh, little town of Buangun. Uh, I know Gun is not <laughs> town, it's county, but. No, I'm sorry, but no, without a proper football specific stadium, I just don't think it would work, nor is there is there, there really the catchment area for another team. What makes John Book work is that there's nothing else there. There's no baseball team, there's no football team. Okay. So actually I didn't realise that, that that was going to be Pete. I should have known really that that, that was Pete. Um <laughs> but I've had a look at, at, at the sort of the next biggest cities in the province. Um, to see where we could go. So you really want to get as big as possible, right? Try and get as many fans as you, as you can. Iksan, 280,000. Gunsan, 270,000. I believe you used to live there, Matthew. I did used to live in Gunsan. And also I'd say that Iksan's got the KTX as well. So um, both good options. All right. Jong up 110,000. Gimje, 80,000. Um, so the next Thanks biggest, cool. really... <laughs> The next biggest are, le- are really less than half the size of John Jew, around six hundred and fifty thousand. So, uh, if you if you compare it to um, Joanamdo, now the di- the distance between Guangzhou and Guangyang is well, it's seventy five seventy five kilometers. Now, the distance from John Jew to Gunsan about thirty seven and a half to Iksan is about twenty five. So. The biggest cities outside of where John Book are based are just too small, right? Also, you've got to look at the uh, the average attendances for John Book. This season, 12,654. Pre-COVID, 14,500 in 2019, 11,000 in 2018, 11,000 in 2017. 2016, bit of a spike, 16,000. 2015, 16,000. I just don't think we can in that area of the country, unfortunately. Um, I don't think that they, we have that supporter base like Japan does, for example. There's loads of teams there. But they seem to be like football in a, a different way than fans do here. I just don't think it would work. Um, and also, you need to have, like I said before, a proper football-specific stadium to be able to make sure that, that the match like, match day experience is enjoyable. Because... Do you really want to be going to watch a game in front of with 400 people there in Iksan? It's like, there's just no point. You know what I mean? Well, I, I know who to ask. Andrew, would you like to go and watch a game with 400 people in Iksan? <laughs> <laughs> so much of this, I, I feel like I can relate to all of this. Uh, on my notes here, I had the Iksan population and the distance to Janju, the Gunsan population and the distance to Janju, and the Jungle population and the distance to Janju. It's the same thing. Actually, when you look at the, the province of Jalabuk, though, Janju is in the perfect spot. It's not like it's isolated from all this other towns. It's almost right in the middle of the province. So I know it's it's not overly ideal to travel 40-odd kilometers from Gunsan to go watch uh, Jalabuk Motors play, but it's not it's not out of the way. Like These these towns are all pretty connected. They're all close to each other. 
Um, I had the attendances here too. There's only twice this season John Buck got over 20,000, uh, but five times they had an attendance of less than 10,000 this season based on this. And, and John is not a particularly small town. So based on this, you would think they don't need another, they don't need another, they don't need another uh, football club. If there was a club put into Ixan, I doubt it, it would have a massive impact, to be honest with you, on John Buck Motors. I have nothing to base on that. I get the feeling that Ixan would probably get a couple of hundred people, as you're saying, but John Buck's attendance would stay the same. But no, I don't want to go to a 25,000 seater stadium, as Peter said, that Ixan has, because every Every city in Korea has a 25,000 seater stadium that's got one roof cover, it's got a running track, it's got absolutely no facilities um, in the stadium. And the stadium is always a bit of a walk from somewhere else. Just last month, I was in Paju, which holds about 25,000 people. There were 400 people at the game. We don't need any more 25,000 seater stadiums with 400 people at it. So, John Buck, this, this motion has been denied. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, Two things I want to say on that. One, we should also at this point say there is another team in Jonju. There is Jonju Citizen there in K3. Right. This, so we should yeah. probably specify at this point this is a request for a team in K League 1 and K yeah. League 2. Um, because, yeah, yeah we, we're not disregarding K3, K4. To be honest, I'd quite like to see Jonju Citizen come up, but I don't know whether two clubs in Jonju. Yeah, it might be fun. Who knows? So you, but yeah, I, I kind of have a soft spot for Jonju Citizen Stadium, uh, the old civil stadium. It's yeah. an absolute. Well, it was an absolute dump when John John Book were there for half a season, but um, the toilets were locked and everything. It was it was an absolute mess. But it was um, it, there was it's so close to the bus station and in so close to uh, Book Day and stuff in John Dewey. It's actually a better location to to go out in afterwards. But also just on top of that, just because you're talking about Ixan, and it reminded me a bit of uh, K League trivia. Now I am just purely going off the Wikipedia, but nobody's corrected this in years, and it's still there. Um, but the history of Goyang Zykro, um, before they went defunct, uh, Goyang Zykro had a, a slight uh, stint in uh, Iksan as Hallelujah FC. Um, they moved to Iksan in 2003 and joined the Korean National League, uh, finishing a credible third. Uh, I'm reading this straight off the, the page here, so please forgive me if it's wrong. They're prevented from competing in the second stage after protests by radical one Buddhists led to the club being barred from playing in Iksan. <laughs> So it does say it does, say it does say citation needed. <laughs> I, I think this this is a call for somebody to please find that citation. I want to know what Buddhist. happened there. Uh, so we'll see. That's a great but name it, for a band. That by the way, radical Buddhist. Be. Well, uh, it might be. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Please find that out. I want to know that. I you know it says citation required. It might be absolute rubbish, but it's been on that Wikipedia for years. And I keep coming back to it, keep thinking, I've got to bring this up. And just you mentioned in having a football team in Ixan, I thought somebody's tried this before. It happened. <laughs> have a look into it. Somebody please get in touch. Anyway, we're going to have I, a break. Can I just, can I just one point. Oh, yeah. have, you guys, one point there, because you guys are both from England. I've heard many English before saying that Ixan is the crew of England. Does that make any sense? I understand what they're saying. Because every train goes through it. Or would Dejon be the crew? Dejon is probably more like the sto- uh Yeah, I would see Dejon like Birmingham, to be honest. Well, yeah, no, okay. Dejon's a bit more like a Preston, actually, because all the trains <laughs> that go from the from the from the from Scotland, yeah. and then into the north of England, and then through, through the south, go through Preston. So I don't know. Yeah, a crew. Yeah, a crew's not a bad shout. Yeah, crew's don't want to stop shout. there. Usually, um, no, anyway, well, not really. No. Uh, Shout out to everybody in Ixan. Uh, anyway, we're going to have a quick break and uh, we'll be back with more presents. Oh, we did. We, are we keeping it? We didn't decide. No, we're oh. get, there's, there's no chance there's going to be another, another team. Sorry, Peter. We've got to reject in one. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see you at the pizza school. All right, have a quick break. 